Hi. Hi, everybody. It's Brad and Sparky. There he is. What do you want down? I hope you don't have to go potty, because we're, we're going live, Fred. Let me see where this is a better place so we can all see Sparky. There you go. But can I see the comments is the question. And I was going to watch the baseball game live. Hi, everybody. Hi, King Doopy. There's Sparky. We're going to talk about Sparky here in a little bit. Come on, Fred. Say hi to everybody out there on TV land. Do you need to go potty? I don't know what's wrong with Sparky. Let's see. Hello, another Artie line click. Oh, stop it. No, we're going to do an update on that. We're going to hopefully give you one. I'm wearing my Diamondbacks jersey today that I got from Uncle Bob. Let's see here. So hello and welcome. I don't know if this is going to work as Sparky. Usually he's just wanting to, to lay and, and be quiet, but today he's he's definitely ready to get outside and run around and chase rabbits. You don't want to be up here. Okay. So we may we may have to cut this one short today, Fred. Oh, that's my belly. Yeah, just lay down. Don't jump. Woo, woo, woo. Come on, Spark. Do you need a potty? You need a drink? Yeah, hi everybody. So this is Fred, Sparky Jones, Captain. He's had four, three blood transfusions in the last eight days. He doesn't want to be on that chair. He's ready to jump. Um, but we're going to do a little on this date. Sparky, we're going to do on this date. Everybody wants to see you. See? They all want to see you. Yeah. Tell everybody hello. This is my co-host. And uh, we're going to go to the doctor now. Right? We're going to go back. And we're going to take a look at those red blood cells. Oh, he really wants down. Let me show you his paws. So he had the IVs on those paws. Sparky. The people want to see us. They want to know how you're doing. Yeah. And they want to talk about on this date. In Sternland. And we were going to watch the Cardinal game, but I didn't even turn it on. Can you, can you hang out for a little bit or you need to get down? You don't want to be up here at all. Yeah, but you can't go up the stairs. What are you doing? Don't jump. I think he's afraid of heights. All right, what if I hold you? Can I hold you? Ooh. How's that? Okay. So we'll do this view. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay. I can't see the comments, though. Anyway. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Normally, we do a little uh, on this date... But, uh, yeah, this, this jersey signed by, let's see, I believe it was, who was that? I don't know, we'll have to figure that out. My Uncle Bob got this for me, and I'm not sure who signed it. And we were going to talk baseball, but Sparky's not feeling well. Are you, Fred? Do you want some water? you want a drink? So we were going to go live, uh, but I think I'm going to have to cut this one short. I know, uh... It's all about Sparky right now, but I wanted to get everybody uh, an update on my little guy here. It is Buck Walter. Very good. That's right. He was the manager of the Diamondbacks. It's Buck Walter who signed this jersey. Back on MLB Network now after leaving the Mets. Um. So yeah, that's. Uh, thank you. Hello, Red Bar. Thank you, Mr. Mafungo. Yes, I can't believe I made it here on time either. I'm sorry for being late. I was talking to the doctor about Spark. Um, I'm going to cut this one short. No offense to Brad, but I hope this doesn't turn into a talk. It's not. No, it's not. Trust me, it's not. Uh, he's going to be my co-host. That was the goal, was he was just going to hang out here and be the co-host and, and look handsome and fill in if I, if I couldn't remember things that happened on the Stern Show. I was also going to talk some baseball. But today I think i got to go. Um, are you okay? Is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to talk to Sparky. Sparky, they don't want you to be part of the show. Um, so what's going on since uh, last time we did live? Um, 
OJ died, right? That was big news. That was big news, right, Fred? Dog is fine. Thank you, Mr. Mafongo. We love Sparky. Sparky's like another member of our family here. Um, what else was I going to talk about today? See, I'm, I'm all flustered because I just got off the phone with the doctor about Sparky here. And we got to get him in and get him looked at. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, we were going to talk baseball. Let's see what the Cardinals are up to. They were, uh, they were losing when I came down here. And uh, we had some games this afternoon. So right now, Cardinals down 6-3, to three, top of the eighth. And a big six hits today. And let's see how many, and let's just for fun, because we're talking baseball a little bit, and we'll talk OJ and we'll talk Artie. But how many one, two, three innings today? Because I, I counted them up before I came down here. Let's take a look here. <coughs> Excuse me. First inning, they had an opportunity there. Top of the second, one, two, three strikes, you're out, two, uh, three strikeouts. Third inning, uh, one, two, three outs in a row. Fourth inning, they scored their runs. Uh, fifth inning, we had a strikeout, a flyout, a walk, and a strikeout. And uh, Jordan Walker hit into a double play in the sixth. So that's what's going on here. Again, we were going to talk some stern... Hey now, hello Anthony, welcome to this show, and uh, we'll talk about what happened on this date. I have gone back and, and looked back. Um, I also, you know what I love to do, I love to look at the number one song on this date. And, uh, well, let's start in 1985, shall we? What was the number one song on this date? What is the date today? April 17th? Cards are 9 and 9, better than you thought they'd be early on. That is exactly correct. I did not think they'd be 9 and 9. I also didn't think the Dodgers would be 11 and 8, so... Did you did you think the Dodgers would be eleven and eight, Fred? No. Okay. He just does not like to be on camera. Uh, I always loved it when Stuttering John interviewed Tommy Lasorda. So I just watched that. Uh, I just watched one of them. I think Tommy was selling a book or something, and they brought Stuttering John and Doug into this special room, and Stuttering John's whispering his questions, and then he says, does your butt hurt when your hemorrhoids bleed or something from sitting on the bench the whole time? Like, what kind of funny guy are you? And kicks him out. Then they have to walk through this whole long hallway. And the guy puts the hand over the camera. Tommy Lasorda was a uh, was a mensch. I met him a couple, well, a lot of times, actually. Uh, but Charlie Gito's, big restaurant here in St. Louis. He would eat there. He had his own table. And, um, yeah, that was, so, but we lost Whitey Herzog yesterday. Cardinal manager Whitey Herzog, uh, many years of Cardinal manager, Royals manager. And uh, thank you so much, King. $3. We love the super thanks and super chats and the memberships. So uh, thank you, King Doopy, for, for being a uh, proud supporter of this channel and of Sparky. Was that for Sparky? Thank you. I appreciate that. Sparky needs it. Sparky's spent, he's been in the hospital now twice. Um... It's getting, it's getting up there. I think we have insurance. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. I want to talk about Whitey Herzog a little bit, though. So I got to uh, hang out at his house a couple times for interviews and uh, for hours because once Whitey starts talking, he, he just likes having guests and he likes talking baseball. And I was like, this was, was probably in my early 20s when I did this first interview with him, and he was great. But we were done with the interview, and he's like, you guys want a beer? And I said, yeah, I'm going to have a beer at Whitey Herzog's house in his basement. And I look over, and he pulls a beer out of this big Miller Miller Lite fridge. I go, Whitey, I thought you were a Bud man. And all those commercials, he's like, right. Budweiser doesn't want to sponsor my golf tournament. We're going to drink Miller Lite today. So we drank Miller Lite that day. My dad sang the national anthem at Dodger game, and Lasorda gave him a big hug afterward. Class act. Yeah, Tommy was great. Um, like I said, Tommy would be in St. Louis a lot, and he loved... Um, he loved eating pasta, as everyone knows, and uh, he was uh, he invited me over there to have an interview with him after he was done eating. And um, yeah, I always had some some fond memories of Tommy Lasorda. Sort of, I love his clips of him just cursing out report, <laughs> reporters, and he, you can tell the reporters laughing at him when he's screaming at him. But uh, you have to check that out. I don't know if that's out on YouTube or not. R.I.P. Whitey, he was a great baseball man. Mr. Mofongo, yes, yes, he was. Um, 
Whitey Herzog, and I would go to fantasy camps uh, thanks to the Cardinals. I would get sent there by, uh, well, I'd be invited by the uh, Cardinals, and I was very appreciative of that. And uh, Whitey would be there all the time. And Whitey, Whitey loved watching the campers play. Like, he just would be evaluating talent, and he's like, this guy's got a good arm. I'm, uh, that's my Red Shandings impression, actually. But um, I think my favorite moment of this whole fantasy camp thing with Whitey was we flew home basically together. We were on the same flight, and he was a, in the same row across from me. And as we're getting closer to St. Louis, he starts naming, hey, there's the track. There's the arch. There's Forest Park. And he's just, like, naming it. It's like, hey, it's Grandpa Whitey. He's enjoying the flight home. And he just was – I just found it funny, though. Whitey was naming off all the attractions in St. Louis. So um, – and uh, – I don't believe I'm a baseball fan if uh, if uh, Whitey Ball was not the style of baseball that I grew up on. Whitey Herzog created Whitey Ball in St. Louis, and what, what that was was he looked at the ballpark, and it was spacious and had no home run hitters, and he said, you know what, I'm going to get a bunch of guys who can run, and we're going to pitch, and we're going we're gonna to field. We're not going to hit home runs. We'll have one guy. So we had George Hendrick, and then uh, they got Jack Clark in 1985. But they had Vince Coleman, they had Ozzie Smith, they had Terry Pendleton, and he had Willie McGee, MVP in 1985. And they just ran everybody out across across the NL and then into the AL and then lost to the Royals. But, uh, yeah, I love uh, I love Whitey. That's a nice memory of having a beer with Whitey. Funny that he wasn't drinking Bud. I, uh, I've told that story a million times about Whitey. Thank you, Mr. Mafungo. But, yeah, I, I just found it hilarious that... Uh, Hey, they, don't, they don't want to sponsor my golf tournament. I'm going to drink Miller. Just the way he said it was great. I uh, told a bunch of stories about, I, you know, it was just crazy, too, because he never managed after the Cardinals. Like, I, he could have. I mean, he still was young, and he was still bright, and he quit the Cardinals. Um, it was just a mess here, and, uh, and then went to be a general manager again, didn't he, Fred? Oh, my goodness. But, uh yeah. King Doopy, they were super fast in the RBI baseball game for Nintendo. I think I remember that. And uh, they stole 314 bases in 1985, and, and I think that's like third most ever in baseball. I know it's the most. Um, no one's done it since. I know that's for sure. Uh, we will talk Howard, I think, here. But, again, I, I just wanted everyone to say hello to Sparky because I love the dog, and people saw him on the last broadcast, and he wasn't doing well then. And, Hopefully he's doing okay. We're going to go get a blood test here in a second. I was just talking to the doctor. That's why I was late. Um, but so I appreciate everybody coming and asking. I would also talk about, you know, I'm repurposing some clips. People get so mad. Oh, it's old content. I'm repurposing. I, I, I go to a bunch of YouTube channels. Everybody repurposes. I am working on getting more guests here. I, you know that. I always give you new content as much as I can. I'll even come on live and we'll just bullshit and do stuff like that. I consider this content. You like you seemingly come here and we talk baseball and Howard and all that stuff. But I'm working on new content. Plus, I don't think the Howard Stern and the algorithm. I don't. It used it used to be better, Sparky. It used to be better, but now no one seems to care about the Howard Stern show. Uh, the algorithm, like people, aren't really coming here the way they did back in the early uh, days of me doing this channel. So. Uh, let's see. Are there any other notes here? I appreciate everybody coming. We'll, maybe we'll try going live again tomorrow. My goal was just like we could turn on the Cardinal game and let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on in that game. Oh, I was going to give you a number one song too. 1985, this, this date, 1985, number one song, We Are the World, USA for Africa. What a great documentary on Netflix. Has anyone ever seen that? It's uh, the behind the scenes. And of course it's great because it's one night. It's basically nine hours of uh, the, this, the stars coming in and just uh, being part of this. Uh, this is a great, great night, and uh, we are the world. There comes a time. You know, anytime someone says there comes a time, then I have to say, when we heed a certain call. I used to, as a kid, I used to be able to do every voice of that song, like the way the per person would sing. When the world must come together as one. There are people dying. Whoa. I, I can't. I don't remember who all. When we, when we come together as one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway. Can you talk about the sweet, lovely day in 1992? All right. Not reading that one. But thank you, Lord. You always bring in the, the bad stuff, Lord. Uh, 
Bob Dylan's voice. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's voice. What did he? How did he do? Oh God! What was this part? Um, There's a church for Maggie. We're saving our own lives. In the in the, in the uh, documentary, they show Bob Dylan going. I don't. These guys are singers. I'm not a singer. I think Stevie Wonder goes just. Do what you want to do. Just do it in Bob Dylan. So he did it, and then it was like turned out it was pretty great. Uh, do the dude from Journey. All right, let's see. How, what was Steve Perry's part? Um, I can do Huey. Lewis. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. What is Steve Perry's part? Let's take a look. I'm going to look it up, and then I'll try and do it. Hi, everybody. Why am I taking my glasses off? I can't see. Steve Perry, we are the world. Let's take a look. Hold on, Fred. Let's see what he does. What part? Oh, let's play it. Let's see. We're not, we're not, we're not giving free advertisements out here. I'm going to go back to the glasses, see if anybody's saying. Brad has mounted a shark and is jumping over an ocean of them today. Oh, my goodness, Lance. I thought you were my number one fan, Lance. Stop it. That's not what I want to hear. Hold on, hold on. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true. We'll make a broader day. Just you and me. <laughs> that was Cher doing Daryl Hall. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lance. Appreciate that. Uh, so we are the world. <laughs> Bye. We Are the World was number one in 1985. Sparky was not alive then. I What was I? Was I eight, nine? I don't remember. That was the number one song in 1985. Uh, you know, I, I guess people come here for the Howard stuff, although no one has mentioned it yet. But uh, let's just look on this date for fun. So this date uh, in 2006, so we're, uh, we're in Sirius, and they're talking about the film festival. I was not a fan of the film festival. Uh, I didn't think it was a good radio, and I didn't think the films were that damn good. Uh, it's a trick question. Only Steve Perry can do Steve Perry, says Lord. Okay. Brad on a roll today, says Mr. Mofongo. I appreciate that. Uh, I also do Kermit the Frog. Hi, everybody. Kermit the Frog, live here in St. Louis, talking to my fans. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, what else we got here? Cabbie versus Angry Black Fight discussions in 2001. So last the last show I did was the uh, kind of the Cabbie tribute show. Um, that was sad, right? We miss Cabbie. He was good. He was good on this program. You can go back and look at those interviews. Once again, I thank, uh, I, I thank King Doopy, who uh, came through strong with a super thank. I have those. I have super chats. I have memberships you can uh, like. Please subscribe because, you know, then you can see when I'm going to... Oh, Sparky wants up. Oh, right, red. He is sick of the game. He's ready to go to the doctor. Can you sing Bigfoot's? No, I'm not singing anything by Bigfoot. You kind of look like a younger stuttering. That is, I'm taking that as offense. I'm, I'm taking that as offense. Come back here, Fred. He's a baby. Dog is a baby. Well, he's stuttering John maybe when he's younger. Like when he cut his hair. I'll, I'll take that. He looked okay then. Brad on a roll today. I don't know if I read that. Um, do Michael Jackson. Uh, what do you mean by that? Is this a trick question? Uh, what part did Michael Jackson do? He does a whole thing. Let's look. Let's look and let's see if I can do it. While we're here, right? While we're here, let's take a look, Fred. Michael Jackson, we are the world. He did a whole, he has a whole part. Um, all right, let's see. But if you just believe, there's no way we can fall. Uh, the, the, the documentary shows where Michael Jackson wanted to add this, like, uh, kind of a chant thing, and it didn't go over so well. Let's see here. No, no ads, no ads. Uh... It's a white catalog, not black. That's what we're talking about. The uh, So we're talking to the chatters right now. And uh, let's see. Hey, I finally just read Artie Lang's book, Too Fat to Fish. Nice read. It is a good read. And uh, you can check out the interview with the author here, Anthony Bozo. 
is on the show. <laughs> Where's just Michael Jackson's part? Mm. I'm not going to look it up. What else we got? Thank you for coming in, uh, Arcanid. Uh, here's Lord. The night was considered by many to be the greatest single night in music history, says Lord Humongous. But I often, I often think the single day ever was the time when pair. I'm not, I'm not reading that. You guys are sick. You guys are sick, and I'm not reading that. It's disgusting. Hi, Sparky. These guys are sick. Sparky, these guys, they're sick. That's all right. I'm wearing orange pants. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Uh, I can't listen to Stern anymore because he thinks people that have different views than him should be locked up. Yeah, it's strange. It's a strange time. Justice for... I'm not reading that. I don't know who that is. Uh, did Benji bang Anna Nicole Smith? I don't think so. I don't believe that happened. How about the Alyssa Jordan stuff? I don't know who that is. I really don't. Um, it looked like the guy really got more of the... the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Offense in. But uh, she's going to jail for that, I guess. What else is going on? So we, we talked a little bit about this date in 19... Well, let's look at 1980. Well, so that was 1985. But now, I want to mention this. And uh, we talked about Cabby versus... That was uh, Cabby versus Angry Black. So that fight was happening in 2001. And in 2000, we had Crazy Cabby versus uh, High Pitch Eric in a, a battle of wits, it sounds like. So Cabby was big in the early aughts. And we had Riley the uh, Riley the alien abductee call in on f April seventeenth, nineteen ninety eight. So I don't know how often Riley was calling in, but I don't remember him being on that early. You look like you would have some cool baseball cards. Yeah, I, I got some. Let's see what I got over here. I got my Mark Leiter or Al Leiter. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got this Doc Gooden. This Doc Gooden signed this son of a bitch, and I love Doc Gooden. And Doc Gooden just got. Uh, his number retired the other day, and that was good. And then they got this old Don Drysdale. So I just keep those over here. Man, I hate this uh, narrative of how the Stern is now. Oh, let me see. Have you been watching Casey's pod? It is bizarre. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Have you been watching Casey's podcast? Someone asking, that, and they say it's bizarre. And yes, I've seen that. Uh, I'm trying to just catch up here. The, Dion, the Diamondbacks old logo was so much better than a new one. I agree. This is pretty. This is pretty good. I don't know why they got off this because they keep changing it. I hate the narrative of how the Stern is now. We, like, had 30 years of pure gold. Dude was in his 50s, still being as controversial as ever. He's, like, 70-plus now. Of course he's different. Okay, well. To each his own, you know. To each his own. Let's look at uh, 1983. This is a good year. It's number one song in 1983, Michael Jackson. Billy Jean. And I can't see how many weeks on the top, but this was the last week it was number one. The next week, Come On Eileen becomes number one. The week after that, Beat It. So Billie Jean right into Beat It for Michael Jackson. The Thriller's album in 1983 was on fire. Uh, hello, everybody. Just saying hello. So I'm going to go take Sparky to the doctor. I did, oh, what's going on? Um, we're going to do... Thank you. This is an old Diamondbacks jersey. I, I, so I come here. We talk uh, Stern on this date. We talk baseball. We talk music, we just talk life, and I talk to the commenters and see what people, not commenters, commenters, and sometimes I sing. I just sang We Are the World in the style of Bob Dylan and Steve Perry. Thank you, King. I'll let you guys know how he's doing. Uh, Perry did that to Randy. Beat it. Yeah, Perry did that to, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just grateful is all. No, that's fine. Thank you for coming in. No, oh, no. Uh, I'm going... I'm giving that man his roses. No apologies. No worries. I helped build Bank One Ballpark. The Bob, they used to call it. Vintage Stern Classics Revisited. And uh, they finally got some new lighting in there. I think it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a big dome. Not my favorite dome, I'd have to say. Uh, but now with new lighting, it's a little bit better. It's better in person, too. I, can't, I just can't watch a, a game on TV from there. Uh, and this guy does nothing but great content, too, says, oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much, Al C. I appreciate that. Did you just, this guy just farted. This guy just farted right on, my, right on my leg. Hello from Portland, Oregon. Hello, Jared. Thank you for joining. 
Uh, again, I'm just vamping, but we're going to go to the doctor, and I'll, maybe I'll come back and do this. So normally if I do this, I put out a message, you know, four or five hours late early that, hey, we'll be on around 4, 4.30. That's what I did today. Set up those notifications. We can do Super Chat one more time or Super Thanks. For Sparky, huh? For Sparky, anybody? Anybody want to give a Super Thank or Super Chat for this guy? All right. We'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll do one tomorrow. We'll talk. We'll chat. We'll have some good times. Uh, but thank you for coming by. We'll do this again tomorrow. Let me know if there's anything you want to talk about tomorrow. We'll get it, we'll get it started. But uh, I, I just felt like coming back and saying hello to everybody. So thank you for coming by. See you next time. Bye for now, I guess is what I should say. Bye.